97.3 City FM, Relevant Radio, always. Acute water shortage hits in Sawa municipality. Government moves in to save the situation. Patients in the Upper East Region to pay cash for health care delivery. And in sports, my guest is Anthony Bafo. All these and more coming up in City News Daily for today. I am Pearl Lacanio Fui. Let's get started. to the Insawa municipality in the eastern region where an acute water shortage has hit the area and surrounding towns. This is because the Dainsu River which serves the community is drying up. Now residents there are now forced to fetch water from a contaminated tributary of the Dainsu River. They share this water source with animals. To mitigate the impact of the acute water shortage on residents, the Ministry of Water Resources works on housing has deployed water tankers to the area to service residents and schools in the Insawem Edwardry municipality. Now this is being executed by the Ghana Water Company Limited, the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, and the National Security. To our next story, some critical staff at the Upper West Regional Hospital, including nurses, today embarked on an unannounced strike to protest the appointment of Dr. Banabas Ganda as a medical director at the facility. Now, the appointment of Dr. Banabas Ganda, who is a lecturer at the Medical School of the University for Development Studies, is being met with fierce resistance. This is because, according to the staff of the hospital, Dr. Banabas Ganda refused to be posted to the facility in 2006 when he was transferred there together with another medical staff, Dr. Chris Fufier. The staff are demanding that Dr. Chris Fufier, who has been at the hospital since 2006, be made the medical director instead. From the Upper West Region, let's go to the Upper East Region and stay with health-related issues because Health Insurance Service Providers Association of Ghana, HISPAC, in that region say they are reverting to the cash and carry system of health care delivery. It means henceforth, National Health Insurance card bearers who visit health facilities in the region would have to pay cash for treatment. According to them, if the National Health Insurance Authority, NHIA, fails to pay them their claims, which have been in arrears in the last 8 to 10 months, they would have themselves to blame. Meanwhile, the head of the National Health Insurance Authority, Nathaniel Otu, has told City News Daily that the government is working to pay the claims. Away from health-related issues, two more teacher unions have threatened to lay down their tools this month if all outstanding arrears owed them are not paid. The unions, the Ghana National Association of Teachers and the Coalition of Concerned Teachers, CCT, say in all attempts to get government to implement a June 2015 agreement for the payment of the outstanding salary arrears have failed. The unions are demanding the payment of salary arrears of the 2013 and 2014 batches of newly recruited teachers, teachers on promotion and others who are reinstated or re-engaged. Now, a Tema-bound train derailed this morning around the Tema Harbour area. It isn't clear how many people were on board the train, but what City News Daily has guarded is that two people were injured. Now, the station manager of the Accra Railway Terminal, Samuel Kokovena, who confirmed the incident to City News Daily, said, this is the first time such an incident is happening. In sports today, if you're a fan of the English Premier League like myself, you'd know that Leicester City played Arsenal over the weekend. Now, they were beaten by Arsenal, but they are still on top of the league. So I asked the founder and general secretary of the Professional Football Association of Ghana, Anthony Bafo, whether he thought Leicester City could still win the English Premier League. Well, with Leicester, um, uh it's really surprising that they have been up there for quite a while, uh, but there are still a lot of matches to go, so let's see what is going to happen in the next uh, five or six matches. I'll be very happy because uh, we have Daniel Amate and Jeffrey Schlopp uh, over there and another young chap uh, uh, who plays with Leicester, also from Ghana, but uh, let's wait and see. That's not all. Anthony Balfour also commented on Manchester United's worst in the English Premier League. Well, uh, Manchester United has been having uh, a few problems uh, uh, previously. Also, 
uh, last season. If not, they wouldn't have changed uh, coaches. Uh, on Hal seems to also have issues uh, with the media. Uh, but uh, then it's still a big club. Uh, um, but uh, uh, what is important for them also maybe to play uh, in a Champions League next year. They uh, got out uh, uh, this year. Uh, they, they didn't make it uh, to uh, the latter stage, so they still have a lot of work to do. But uh, uh, I don't know if uh, uh, Hal already feeling uh, the heat of Mourinho, who he worked with uh, back in the days. Uh, uh, I, can't, I can't say that. Uh, I am not uh, a particular fan of any team in the Premier League because I'm a child of the Bundesliga, but I watch the African players and I watch the Ghanaian players, so I'm always happy if uh, they perform well. And that's how we end City News Daily on City TV. For today, I am Pia Lacanio Furi. Thanks for watching.